Hi, I'm Harold Bell, the founder and creator of the original Inside Sports, the radio sports talk show that set the standards for sports talk in America. The original Inside Sports celebrates black history 365 days of the year. In 1971, the original Inside Sports was one of a kind. There was nothing like it on the airwaves in America. It was unheard of, unparalleled, unrecognized, uncompromised, unforgiven, uncensored, and still unsung. Today, we're going to travel back in black American sports history. This show is titled Conversations with Legends, The Way We Were. And I got another special legend. Uh, this guy's off the chain. <laughs> he really is. I met him in 1971 in Cleveland, Ohio. I was up going, I was traveling to Cleveland, Ohio with some friends for an exhibition boxing match uh, featuring uh, Muhammad Ali, uh, who was doing this thing for charity uh, for Children's Hospital. And guess who the promoter was? Don King. Muhammad Ali had decided to give his brother an opportunity to be the only black promoter in the country. You know, back during those days, uh, black promoters were few, far, and in between. But Muhammad Ali, always wanting to, to help a brother, decided that he wanted to give Don King a shot. Knowing Don King's background, uh, everybody was whispering in uh, Muhammad Ali's, leave this Negro alone, man. But Muhammad Ali, always his own man, made up his own mind to go along and uh, let Don King be the promoter of this fight. And if you know the real story, Don King ended up uh, stealing, taking some of Muhammad Ali's money. You know, I think uh, Geraldo Rivera uh, best described Don King on a show that I was participating in years ago. He called Don King the ghetto Machiavelli. Well, the, my best way to describe Don King is that you can take a brother out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of him. I don't know where this interview is going. This went on for about an hour, so I'm just going to click it on and let you hear uh, some of this interview that I had with Don King uh, a little while back. Common interest. Two different agendas going to a common interest uh, really, nevertheless, serves both purposes. Good negotiation and compromise. You get some of what you want, you get some of what you want. You know what I mean? At the same time, we're getting what we both can mutually live with, you know? And this is the difference. But we, as a people, try and tend to want to be the only one. And that's a very dangerous situation because you always will, will be a minority of the minority. You're only one. Well, hey, <laughs> let me explain that. Don King, I tell you, he's the best with talking on both sides of his mouth. We're talking about, you know, networking with each other to make it a, a better society for those of us in the black community that need to reach back and help others. But what Don was saying is that uh, when we get in a position, we always want to be the only one. We don't want to pull other folks uh, along with us. And uh, he's absolutely right. But Don King is a, uh, uh, you're talking about not reaching back, you know, he's one of the real selfish individuals, man. I, I really love the brother. I thought a lot of him, man. But he put me in a trick just like everybody else. And I was warned. I was forewarned by Connie Hopper, who was Don King's right hand lady. Uh, she ended up going to jail for him on income tax charges. She took the weight and went to jail. Connie was a, a great, great lady, and she warned me from the beginning, Harold, don't ever take any money from Don King unless you earned it, okay? That was a warning that I heeded. So uh, we're going to have a, a, a more extensive interview with Don King, but I just want to give you some idea of what we come, we got coming up and what to expect. So uh, like I say, stick around. We're going to be talking to some, some really high-profile legends of inside sports.